Hi everyone, this is Dr. Wes Fryer. It's June the 7th, 2021, and I'd like to show you how you can create and add a custom skin in Minecraft Education, actually not only on an Apple or Mac OS computer, but also on an iPad. And I want to do a shout out to CD Smythe, um, and I'll include this link in the YouTube description because he's got a nice little video showing how to do this on a PC. You're going to need basically two things to do this. Um, you're going to need to go to the skin decks for Minecraft, um, which is just, um, so I can zoom in on this. Um, the web link is just minecraftskins.com. So you're going to go there and you're going to find the skin that you want. So I'm going to find one for the Mandalorian. <clears throat> Make sure you spell everything right, because if you don't, you may or may not find what you're looking for. I like to, instead of searching for latest, click here where it says most voted, and sometimes you're going to find a better skin there. And I'm going to check my spelling. I don't know if you do this sometimes, but I'm going to make sure I spell Mandalorian right. I'm just going to Google it. I'm going to put that into the Google search bar. And yeah, I actually spelled Mandalorian wrong. <clears throat> Um, other people have as well, so that's why there are a lot of skins that actually <laughs> show up there, but it's not Mandalorian, it's Mandalorian, so let's search for it this way, because I had seen one that I liked earlier, and it's not there. Again, instead of latest, you can click here at the top to see the most voted, and then you're going to see ones that other people think are great, and take a look at this. This one has been upvoted 905 times. Now, you don't have to log in to the website in order to... Um, let's see that baby Yoda one looks pretty funny. Um, you don't have to log into the website to download these, but to upvote or downvote, you do. So here is this skin, okay, for this Mandalorian. I'm going to click download, and that is going to put on my Mac a PNG file, which is an image file, um, over in my downloads folder. And so the other link, and I'll put this also into the description, so you'll be able to get to it. You're going to come here to this Minecraft Skin Pack uh, MC Pack Creator, okay? Now, you're going to give your skin a name, so I'll call mine, sorry, so I'll paste, paste that in, uh, Mandalorian, and then the template name is the, is the area that it's going to go in, in inside your um, Minecraft Education skins, um, so it's like the category, I guess. And now you're going to choose the file. On a Mac, it's going to be in your Downloads folder. I like to sort by date so that I've got the most recent things here at the top. And so there it is. That's the PNG file. And when I click Submit, it is going to convert that from a PNG file into something called an MC Pack file. All right. And if I come down here and click and say Show in Finder, I'm going to be able to see that here in my... Um, in my downloads folder with all my other stuff that I've got, okay? Now, um, I'm going to just call this Mando. When you double-click this, the first time it's going to pop up with this kind of a prompt, and it says, hey, there's no application set for this. You've got to tell it to use Minecraft Education, and so <clears throat> you're going to choose Choose Application, because it doesn't know what to do with a .mc pack file, and it's going to show you everything inside your applications folder but what's the problem you can't see Minecraft this is where you may want to be searching by name and see Minecraft education's grayed out so I have to go from recommended to all applications then it will let me select Minecraft education and then go ahead and click open it's going to import it and if you haven't logged in it's probably a good idea to just be logged in and boom look at that I've successfully imported Star Wars. So now, <clears throat> before I even, you know, open up a world or whatever, I can click underneath my icon and click on the hanger. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, then you're going to probably see your skin that you've imported. Okay? And I can go ahead and confirm and then check it out. I am the Mandalorian. So I can just, you know, create a new world and let's go ahead and play. I think I accidentally clicked host there. And then I'm going to be playing as that character. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is that you can use your function keys uh, to go ahead and see yourself. I don't have any idea where I spawned. <clears throat> so if I press F5, 
Um, I may have to hold down the function key to do that. Jeez, I've got a special keyboard here. Okay, F5. So there's the back. There's the front. Look at that. So there I am. I am the Mandalorian. And uh, if you want to take a picture of yourself with the camera in Minecraft Education Edition, it's a nice thing to use that function F5 key. And you can change your view and be able to see yourself. Okay. So you got forward view, rear view, and then the selfie view. Okay. Pardon me. I actually didn't mean to create that as a shared world. So let me get out of this. One thing more I'd like to show you, and that is, um, how can you do the same thing on a on an iPad? Okay. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And I actually have my iPad screen showing here. Okay. So this is my this is my iPad screen. And what I've got to do is either on my iPad, download the skin and convert it into an MC pack file, or this is what I recommend, and I think it's actually easier. Use your, if you have a Mac computer, you can copy it over. So I'm gonna click my AirDrop icon, and then I'm gonna open up another window. I'm gonna press Command N, but I can also just go to the File menu and choose New Window. So now, if I go to my Downloads folder, I have my Mando MC pack, over here and I want to drag that file and drop it over here on my iPad so let's see what this looks like I'm gonna drag it over here and drop it and now it says sending and it says hey do you want what do you want to open this with now because I'm logged in to my Apple ID on both my Apple computer and on my iPad I didn't have to ask permission it just went over but you're gonna to have to make sure airdrop receiving is turned on for your iPad and if you don't have the same login for Apple IDs, you're going to have to approve this. But now over here on my iPad, see my iPad here, I'm going to tap that Minecraft education. And so now it goes ahead and imports it right into Minecraft and it says successful. So let me go ahead and tap on my um, hanger. And now I'll scroll down here and let's see, I guess that's it, right? That's Mandalorian. Yeah. So I can go ahead and confirm. So there I am. So now I'm the Mandalorian on the iPad as well. So I hope that has been helpful to you. Um, we are in the midst of doing a Minecraft camp at our school. And we're learning a whole lot about Minecraft education. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing any of the stuff that we're doing, you can visit that website, mdtech.cassidy.org slash Minecraft. And you can check out some of the stuff that we're doing. All right. Hope that's helpful to you. Have a great day.